New evidence suggests that a device designed to clear imperfections on the skin may also have long-term benefits, possibly even reversing the aging process. On a day when I'm working outside, I unpack the van and I'm out in the sun. Kyra Pearson loves her job as a landscape designer, but she says being out in the sun all day is an occupational hazard that's taken a toll on her skin. I just have a lot of freckles, especially around the perimeter of my face um, and around my eyes. I've got freckles and also rosacea. So Kyra, as you look in the mirror, um, I want you to point out to me all those things visible to you that you'd love to see look better. Today, Kyra is hoping to repair some of that sun damage with the help of Los Gatos dermatologist, Dr. Patrick Bitter. He developed the popular photofacial more than a decade ago. And Dr. Bitter says current versions now employ bursts of broadband light known as BBL. So broadband light, as it interacts with skin when it's treating skin, will lessen redness, it'll uh, fade away pigmented age spots and sunspots. So here's our, our first flash. Okay. Okay. How is that? That's fine. While the technology has produced consistent topical results over the years, Dr. Bitter says a recent study conducted with colleagues at Stanford University's Department of Dermatology also documented changes underneath the skin. Using biopsies, the team examined the expression of genes associated with the aging of skin cells. They found that more than half took on the characteristics of genes in younger skin cells in patients receiving regular broadband light treatments. What we didn't know was what exactly was happening in the skin. We knew light was heating skin cells and it was heating skin, but really didn't know what was happening to skin cells. We now know that what um, BBL does is it slows down skin aging. Before and after photos supplied by the manufacturer Palo Alto's Cyton show the cosmetic changes from the treatment, including a lightening of age spots and ruddy complexion. Dr. Bitter believes the new data suggests the benefits could be longer term as well. This is the closest that we've come to the fountain of youth for any kind of treatment for skin. For Kyra, the prospect of reversing the cosmetic damage from the sun is still the priority. Just to even out the skin tone and maybe even tighten it up, but the evenness is the biggest thing. Now, the treatment typically costs about $500 for the initial session. Follow-ups run in the $200 to $300 range.